How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to What's Hiding at the Most Solitary Place on Earth, the Deep Sea, by... In a Nutshell. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's keep this week of In a Nutshell train going. That made sense, I think, right? But uh, yeah, this is going to be... The third one, The Deep Sea, can't wait to uh, dive into this one. Uh, jokes for days, but yeah, I'm doing this, the last uh, two videos, I'm doing them back to back to back. So without any further ado, here is What's Hiding at the Most Solitary Place on Earth, The Deep Sea. Sometimes the world feels, hmm, Aww. boring. Hmm. We've visited all the remote islands, yes. conquered the Arctic, yes. and penetrated the deepest jungles. Fun. But there is still one place to explore. Space. It's a wet and deadly <laughs> desert inhabited by mysterious creatures ocean. living in total darkness. The deep sea. Let's dive down. Hi, buddy. Oh. Pantro was a little different. Oh, cool. It's a collab. When we look at the sheer scale of the Earth's oceans, it's hard to believe that less than 2% of all biomass on Earth lives here. Okay. And of that small percentage, around 90% is located close to the surface in the first 200 meters. Dang. This is where we begin our journey. Here, light can still penetrate the water, which allows and it's nice and pretty. to occur. Phytoplankton, trillions and trillions of single cell oh, like bacteria make up the foundation level. of the ocean's ecosystem, and they're consumed by bigger plankton who are plankton. consumed by other species. Let's steal the Krabby Patty formula. The seafloor at this depth is akin to the Amazon rainforest and is often covered with coral reefs, the ocean algae, is very and other pretty. sea plants that are home to a plethora of sea animals. I hate it, animals. but it's very pretty. So far, we've focused most of our attention well, on this comparatively turtle. pleasant and environment keyboard? where we fish, I'm pretty sure that's swim, a Pokemon, pollute, and do science. Aww. So, yeah, let's human dive has to deeper. ruin everything. Moving from familiar coastal waters into deeper, more remote waters, we eventually reach the edge of the continental the shelf, where we're confronted with the continental slope, the long descent down to the deep sea. This reminds me of some nah with every high? additional meter of water, light fades drastically. Which means there are basically no more plants, and the seemingly steep continental slope begins to remind Baby us shark. of the surface of the moon. Do, 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 do. Looking out, we're faced by what seems to be endless open water. Let's leave the slope behind us and enter what's known as the Twilight Zone, the portal to the deep Ooh. sea. Huh. As we sink Had down to have that further, door there. the water pressure oh, rises hi, to deadly levels. You're creepy. The deepest scuba dive ever came in at 332 meters. I thought that was a turtle. That depth, I'm not going to lie. The is like having 200 cars stacked on top of you. Oh, man. Yet we've only completed oh. 5% of our journey. Goodness. While this region seems pretty grim, many fish and other animals actually spend at least half their lives down here. Huh. During the day, it's a good place to rest and recover, hidden from predators in the vast dark waters. Awesome. At night, they can travel more safely into shallower zones to feed in the food-rich surface waters. Yes. In this transition zone between twilight and darkness, light becomes a powerful tool. Over 90% of the species Ooh. indigenous to this deep environment use bioluminescence chemicals to so create pretty. light. So pretty! They do so as camouflage against the very faint sunlight to send signals to potential mates or to confuse and scare attackers. Huh. Or Whoa. they use light to hunt. Another tool for survival in the dark is teamwork. At around yeah. 700 meters, teamwork. they encounter a colony of siphonophores. siphonophores. They can be up to 50 meters in length, but are only as wide as a broomstick. That is very to pretty. Prey, a colony creates a tragically beautiful bright blue or red light. You say tragically? And a curtain of tentacles oh, yeah, filled that's with tragic needles. That oh my god! That comes too close. But most species living down here have to it's rely like a rose on with an thorns. unlikely resource: marine snow. White, flaky stuff that constantly sinks from the surface to the bottom of the ocean. Okay. It consists of dead plant or animal parts, oh, okay. fecal matter, shells, sand, or dust. 
Even though this doesn't sound very tasty, without this crucial resource, life in the deep sea would starve. Dang. It's in this area that the most fascinating battles between two unlikely enemies oh, could happen. That's a big squid. Sperm whales hunt and oh. attack giant squid the size of a house. I honestly didn't While know that. While the squid fight back ferociously, they probably don't stand a chance, but they do leave permanent marks on their killer's skin. As we reach 1,000 meters, deeper than the tallest structure built by humans, Dang. we need to be careful. This is oh. the Midnight Zone, a place of I see my reflection darkness. and I don't like it. <laughs> a barely explored wet wasteland consisting of nothing but endless black open water. At these depths, it's harder for oh. a human to take a swim than to take a walk in space. Ooh. Finding yeah, he did. food down here is Just really leave him. Hard, it's fine. So life had to adapt and become extremely energy efficient. Like the 30 centimeter long vampire squid that floats through the okay, water. Okay, that name alone motion, is amazing. With long and slender catching arms oh. extended. They're Actually heard about tiny, you. Tiny stiff hairs which brush food from the water. Huh. This saves a lot of energy compared to actively catching food. That's pretty cool. For carnivorous fish, it's much harder to find food since living prey is quite rare down here. So the hunters have to get Run. a grip on their Run. first strike, otherwise it will Aww. escape into the dark. Good job, little Many buddy. Deep sea predators have several sets of long and deadly teeth. God, those like things are just viper fish, which uses its long fangs to trap oh. even large prey and swallow it whole. It's like alien with like or a the mini mouth. Shark with its impressive Whoa. set of 300 teeth which are curved backwards to That's hook a shark? their victims in their mouths. We sink further, below the 3,800 mark. I want to go, like, all the, the way, the man. Titanic. We are now at abyssal depths. Abyssal? Here, like life the abyss? happens in slow motion. Preserving every last bit of energy is crucial for survival. Huh. Everything down here hovers motionless or swims in a slow, elegant fashion. The only time the animals living in this zone move fast is when they have to escape danger. Huh. Like the Dumbo octopod paddling Hi, with its buddy. like fins, or the Brindis fish with its slow eel-like tail beats. You're less adorable. At 4,000 meters, we finally reach ground again, the abyssal cool. plain. It's covered in gray mud and rocks, dusted with the remains of marine snow, which is consumed by animals like sea cucumbers, shrimp, Sea urchins and sea worms. In that sea worm was. The sea floor, small, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> can be seen. These are manganese nodules. Deep sea corals and try sponges to say that. use them to anchor themselves on the bottom of the sea. Though life is sparse on the deep sea floor, even down here there are oases. In the rift valleys, where tectonic plates are splitting apart, Magma huh. heats up seawater and creates dark jets of water and minerals as hot as 400 degrees Celsius that form Dang. elaborate chimneys and towers. Huh. Extremophile bacteria use the minerals to create organic substances that are the basis for unique ecosystems. Very unique. As we descend further, we oh, reach we're the not deepest done. point of the abyssal plain at 6,000 meters. For most of the seafloor, this is as deep as it gets. But if we want to get to the deepest point of the oceans, we're actually only halfway there. What are those? Let's enter the Hadal Zone, the underworld of the sea. It consists of long, narrow trenches that only make up around 0.25% of the oceans and are among the most extreme environments on Earth. Huh. Only extremophiles exist down here, like the ethereal snailfish that holds the record for the deepest Aww. living fish ever seen at around I like them. They're meters. cute. We see spiky and sharp black rocks rush by as we sink down to more than 10,000. Oh my goodness. Until we reach the final slope. A trench inside the larger Mariana Trench with gently sloping sides that inframe a valley about 1.6 kilometers wide. Ooh. This is it. The deepest point, the Challenger Deep, 11,000 meters below the surface. Literally called the Challenger Deep. The water pressure here is 1,086 bar. Whoa! Taking a swim here is like having to balance 1,800 elephants on top of you. Oh my god! Living here, life has found a way to thrive. Because life uh, Next to sea cucumbers, finds a way. White and light pink amphipods wiggle their way through the water. Yeah, guys are adorable. Their size is astounding. While their shallow water cousins Less are adorable. a few centimeters long, 
the deep sea version can reach up to 30 centimeters. Cool. And there are other things floating elegantly through the water. What'd you get? Plastic bags that were found by scientists in 2018. Really? Even the remotest place really? on Earth is not safe from human influence. Oh my god. There's nothing left to do now, and our oxygen is running out, so we begin our ascent. Don't go too fast now. Their eyeballs pop out. This is awesome. After hours of traveling through dark nothingness, we finally see a glimpse of light. We arrive back at a calm surface. The oceans are so deep. That's there is cool. so much of them. We owe it to ourselves and to our descendants to preserve them as well as we can. Yeah. There are still so many wondrous things. Now let's left just keep dumping our discovered. trash in the ocean. Save the baby so, turtles. You're all tingly now and want to go exploring. You don't Why know me. Start off with some juicy science. Okay. You can use our friends from Brilliant as your springboard for a knowledge. Yeah, maybe I will, dive. maybe I won't. You don't know Brilliant me. Is a website. All right. So that one was I don't know, like the the ocean. It's like it's so pretty and elegant and cool, but I don't like it at all. Like just the the salt water and the sand and I, I don't like the beach. I that's like the least my least favorite place to go is the beach. I, I cannot stand it. But I want like if I was in a full body like scuba suit, yeah, I would love the ocean. Like the ocean would be amazing. I would love it so much, but it's kinda kinda easy to get lost, so GPS or something, but this video was really amazing. I loved like towards the end when he was going back up and it showed like all the different layers like and the music playing and stuff. That that was that was cool. It tickled my fancy. But uh super enjoyable. I really, really like this video. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later days.